Hey guys, uh, Tim here with Red Wolf TV, and uh, we're going to be taking you through today on the Crytac LVOA AEG. This is a gun that uh, Red Wolf has had for a while, but after sifting through their their video library, I realized that they hadn't reviewed the gun yet. Oh, hey Tim. Hey Tim. How, How are, are you doing? You? I'm doing. Yeah. I'm doing great. That's good. That's good. You're drinking Ooh. from my. Mm. Oh God, what is this? Tea. Tea's in there. It was tea, but now it's tea you can and have spit. It. <laughs> okay, um, what are you doing here? I was about to get the ball rolling on the Crytac LVOA review because I noticed that you guys hadn't done it yet. I can explain that. Can you? Uh, but I won't. Because I, 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 I got it from here. I'm good. Thank uh. you. Thank you for flying all the way sure here. You, you yeah, got, you yeah. got it now. Yeah, it's good. Like, okay. yeah, thank you. Like I've been doing this for a while, so I'm happy. Yeah, yeah. Not quite as long as I have. No, no, but you're like the the replica. Yeah. Un unlicensed replica. Yes. I'm the <laughs> unlicensed replica. <laughs> all right. Well, if you got it, I'll, uh, I'll I'll leave you to it then. But I'm I'm going to take your you mug. You take my job and now you takes my tea. No. No, 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 no. Just to let you know, Tim wasn't absolutely wrong, which I kind of hate. The LVOA SNC have been out for a while, but it's finally back in stock. This version is the S. There is the C out there, but unfortunately that is currently out of stock, but it's basically the same thing except that one is a little longer than what we have here. There are several other colors of this. Right now this is gray, there's FG, and black. So let's get to the nitty gritty, shall we? The Crytek LVOA AEG, LVOA standing for Low Visibility Operation Applications, is a fully licensed replica by Warsport Industries in the United States, so you can expect all the correct markings on the receiver. You'll notice the Warsport on the left, the LVOA on the right, and also the Warsport engraving at the front of the flash hider. Now, I am a huge fan of the look of this rail system. I think it looks absolutely stunning and how it sits flushed alongside that flash hider there but what kind of ruins it for me is the look of that front sight I'm not the biggest fan it looks incredibly aggressive without but then you add it and it looks like a cockatoo that is the main reason why I've applied the sight mark Wolverine CSR red dot sight right here to make up for the fact that the front and rear sight looks rather hideous in comparison to the rest of the AG because it is so beautiful. Especially that flat trigger right here. The rest of its accessories are rather basic, but the Defiance ergonomic pistol grip still looks pretty good. And the collapsible stock as well, rather basic looking, though there are two QD sling points for a sling, if you prefer, and a button right at the rear that will allow you to remove the pad, revealing a slot and a storage space for your battery, so long as it connects to mini Tamiya plugs. Now, what you just heard was me sliding the base of that magazine. This is because if I release it, it comes with a 300 round high cap mag. Now I'm not a big fan of magazines because they do sound like maracas. So let's have a look here. One thing you might have noticed, because this is just another M4, is that as I've been spinning it around, you can see the ambidextrous fire selector. Though what does tick me off a little bit is that for some reason as I switch it from the right side, it's a little more stiff than the left. So if I switch it around, my thumb uses that, yep, it does feel a little more stiff. And that, with this finger, it's just so much easier. I'm not sure if this is just this AEG, it could be others, but I'm hoping it's just the one. And like every M4 AEG out there, if you pull back the charging handle, you'll notice the hop-up adjustment dial in the breech right here. And if you press the bolt release, it'll create a beautiful, resounding musical note. Though I'm not sure what note that is, I'm sure you'll let me know in the comments section below. Another great addition is the rail system that comes with the LVOA. Right now I fitted it where it is because I could potentially fit an angle foregrip there that you could put it anywhere alongside this rail system. That's about it folks. I think it's time to chrono the thing. For the chrono test we're using 0.2 gram 6mm BBs.
and it clocked in at an average of 415 FPS. One thing I've noticed with Crytek AEGs is that they usually sound different in comparison to other AEGs. You'll notice it as I take 10 shots at that target 30 meters away from me. There's a definitive wall there and a break. You can hear it. Yes, I can most definitely hear it. Though, for all I know, it could be the 11.1 LiPo battery, which is then winding up that 30k high torque motor, spinning the enhanced torque 18 to 1 ratio gears, encompassed by a very rigid gearbox surrounded by anti-corrosion coating, thrusting those BB forward at a high velocity, skimming past that temperature and wear resistant hop-up bucking, which then making that very unique and definitive sound that can only bring the morale up of your comrades and send shivers down the spine of your enemies. Or, or it could be something else entirely. Let me just, let me just check the result. Yeah. Those shots are actually pretty decent. Imagine this. It is a headshot every single time from 30 meters out, which may be a little rude, but at least it's very consistent. Consistently rude. You probably want to hear what it's like in full auto. Well, everyone does because it's fun. Let's give it a go. Ooh, that sounds terrifying. The thing is, these days, people are obsessed about potentially upgrading their AGs to make it perform better and outperform others that are potentially better than their own. And the great thing is, Gambit has already done a video on how one would upgrade the Crytek AEG. And if you want to find that video, click on the card above or in the description below. When I was in Canada last year, I managed to get my hands on one of these for the very first time and used it for a game or two. And I felt powerful, intimidating. Two traits I don't normally have in my repertoire. The great thing is, this is fantastic right out of the box and it looks fantastic as well. Another thing is that Mark has reviewed a bunch of Crytek AEGs in previous videos, which you can find in the card or in the link in the description below. So fellas and ladies, what do you think of the Crytek LVOA AEG? Let me know in the comments section below. So for this cool product and a vast array of other really extremely cool products, go to our online store at www.redwolfairstock.com and I'll be seeing you on another episode of Red Wolf TV. Pornstache.